Sup, sup, sup. My name is Reed for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Ying Zing deck profile confirmed because I'm playing them. And I was playing against player GX. And I just want to give this guy, like, the most props in the world. We had one hell of a duel. And until the very last second, it is pretty much back and forth, you know, of just push and shove of, um, of playing. So I got to learn a lot in this game. And it also will help me with the guy to your side. So here I'm just trying to go off, you know, get something because I didn't know what he was playing. And he's playing Ying Zing. So at this point, I know I have to make Armades. So that way Armades can basically control the game state. And I don't have to worry about, you know, dealing with the crap. So Armade is going to take out his Ying Zing. I'll put 900 damage. He will not get another Ying Zing. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm feeling good. But at this point, he top he has a dark hole. I just played the I I, I played the uh, Ying Zing creation into the Tatui. I know some people don't like Tatui. It's understandable. He's level five. I do like him. He's so big and bulky, and he just got the twenty two hundred body. It does help against you know the Shadow matchup. Smack a window in the face, because most people drop window. I don't know why. I would drop the Earth one over anything else. I am working on that deck profile, by the way. It's pretty much done. So that'll be out this week too, so you don't have to worry. He top sex that skill drain, but he also has the the Ying Zing path. I wanted to say the cosmos, the Stardust Cosmos. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I'm just gonna sit here and just sit on my monster. I don't want to push for any damage because if I push for any damage, I know exactly what's gonna happen. Same thing if he does it to me, you know. So I top deck the Soul Charge. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get Armades. He plays Sound Warning, and I'm just like, son of a bitch. But you know what? It brings him down by 2,000. So job done. Confirmed. I just need you to know, put enough damage on the board or wait for him to make a mistake. And that's pretty much what I'm hoping for. That or just make something that, you know, is going to allow me to bounce over his things. But I have no tuner, so I can't really, can't really summon anything yet. At this point in time, I really can't. So I was just sitting there scratching my head like, okay, you know what? I can go Herald of Arc Light. Because I am maining two of them just for the, you know, just for the neck cloths matchup and for light sworn and just random shit. So, here comes that, uh, that Bayan with the Ying Zing creation. But I'm going to fiend chain that shit. I'm not allowing that to go through. I do not want him getting plus, you know, plus two on his monsters. I mean, if anyone's going to get plus two, it's probably going to be me getting the plus two. So, you know, that's how I want it. So, I put my monster in defense mostly so can't do that. And I'm putting three back with my pathway. And I top deck that MST. I'm going to get rid of that creation. But he has another creation. I'm like, whoa. Damn. If, now, if I would have attacked and he would have flipped up that one, that would have been salt. Salt for days. It would not have ended well. And this is what I was waiting for. He goes into the Goyo Guardian. I have the Compulse. Play that Compulse. Bounce that. Oh, nope. It's unaffected by traps. I totally, like, jizzed out and forgot that it was unaffected by traps. And it cannot be destroyed by battle. Like, it, it, this is this is me misplaying. Let's put it that way. Let's be honest here. That's me misplaying. So he steals my monster too. I'm like son of a bitch. I it was like oh, just face palming the fact. And you can see it there when my mouse is over it. This card cannot be destroyed by battle, and the card is unaffected by any traps. So when when you're playing against Ying Zing, you're inexperienced. You have to know what to do. Play the Black Rose. But he has a skill drain, and I'm like. God damn it, play the Torrental Tribute, play Skabulse, and I'm like, I just wanted to get rid of my field so I could plus. I know the Goyle is not going to die, you know, I, I learned that, I learned that much. Oh wait, no, it will because of the Black Rose Chain. Thank you, here comes the Ying Zing, um, just put in that final damage, and that's going to be GG for for the first game. Let's move on to the second, that was just it's such a great game, props to you player GX again, props. So... This is pretty much at the end of when I was building the deck, and um, I finally included Ring of Destruction, because I was trying to squeeze it in for the longest time, because it's so good right now, it's so fucking good. But I'm playing against Yosenju, and I know many of you just hate it, I'm going to Ring of Destruction that right off the bat, so he can't make Chidori, because I figure, you know what, he probably has like one or two starting off, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to deal with it. He has a Tensu, he's going to go to the bear, and he's going to swing. Bayan's going to get my water one, and then he's still got Bear to attack, but he's not going to. Instead, he's going to play Instant Fusion, go to Noden, use Noden to bring back the Osenju, and then basically go into the Castell, use Castell's effect. And at this whole point, I'm kind of laughing my ass off, because he's going for Tiger King on top of all this, and goes for the Fire Formation Goku, 
or Gaioku, which no one uses in Yosenju, by the way. So this is more probably Fire Fist Yosenju, and I'm still laughing at this point. So I just set up again, you know, have my Mirror Force, and then he tops deck a bear. He top he tops decks a bear. So at this point, I'm like, okay. He attacks, plays Vanities. I say get Rack Mirror Force. I had to be cocky. This guy was annoying me. I'm sorry. It just really was. Now, the reason Vanity say uh, stays on the board is because of the way the chain resolves. Just so in case anyone doesn't understand that whole thing, there you go. I'm going to swing for 1900 and just keep my advantage in this game state. And then I'm going to set the Jaito. Uh, oh my god, I, I was able to say it last night. Jaito. I'm just going to call it Jaito. Jaitoon? Jaito? Whatever. Here comes the bear to the whatever to my face. He's gonna, he would get another fire formation, but he's not able to because, hey, look, he's got everything just set up like that. So that's fine. I can't special. No big deal. If he wants over my darkness, he's going to have to pop it. But he tops at that Yosenju number two. And that Yosenju number two is going to attack directly for 1100. The sack is real. The sack is real. He's going to he's gonna attempt to take out my monster, but he's not able to. So at this point, he can't special summon. He's going to bounce. And that's pretty much what you're going to see probably for a little while. It's, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. He's like, great. He's going to keep bouncing you know, back and forth. Because I can't play Dark Hole. He's got it frozen up. He top set that smashing ground. That's smashing ground too strong. Here, he, here it's going to break his vanities. So I'm just going to play my card anyway. So I won't get it there, but I will get it here so I get my two monsters and I could just loop his ass. Here comes the Bayan, and then here comes the uh, Tatatui. I like saying Tatatui. It's probably not fully Tatatui, but whatever. It works. Here uh, here comes the massive damage from that Dark Seed Rebel Dragon, QQ status. And I'm going to special out the level 1 because I'm hoping that I could top deck something that would allow me to jump over his monster and put the final damage in that I need. I do not get that. I get the little level one, so I'm going to play in my Ying Zing path. And hopefully, the stars of the cosmos will allow me to top deck what I need, and they do, so I'm going to go into uh, the broke status, which is basically the one that brings three back into the deck. I'm going to be able to poke for 2,800. That box, uh, Baxi, Baxi. Boxy? No, Baxi. Baxi. Baxi uh, is going to do massive damage, and then that's going to be the GG because he tops at the MST and he can't do nothing. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Reeve for the Yu Gi Oh! Council, and thank you to I Can Count to Fork and Player.gx. You guys were amazing. You gave me great games, and I hope that I Can Count to Fork did not take my little get wrecked joke serious. I was just having fun in the moment. Much appreciated, dudes. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later, and I'll be back with Tech Tuesday. Peace.